Hi my lovely Frosty fam, it's me Karen Frost here at Now Decadence with another video for you. So this is what I'm going to be using. I've got my Nao acrylic that I'm mixing pink mica into clear and got that you know pink colour. I'm using that sugar pebble purple colour from the sugar pebble collection. I've got the foils from SBD London as well, the SBD London gel paints and the oval number 16 brush that I'm going to be using in this video. And as you can see the SBD London brushes come with lids so that you can store them upside down safely so that the monomer does not run into the ferrule which is awesome i love my acrylic brushes to have lids it just keeps them clean and like i said it means you can store them in a pot upside down so that you're not the monomer's not leaking into the ferrule which helps them to last longer and not go yellow and gross anywho let's get into the video I'm building the nails with the pink so that you can see it better on camera. If I'd have done it with clear, you would have been able to see it, but it's just easier for you guys to see me do it in pink, but you do not have to do it in pink. You can use clear. I wouldn't ordinarily use clear, it's, you know, like I said, for ca on camera, on screen purposes, it's it's easier for me to use the pink, that, that way you can see what I'm doing better. So as you can see, I'm just building the nails with this colour. So I'm thinking about my shape and structure, because we're building the nail with this, and then we'll file and shape and gel polish. So I want to make sure that my apex is in the back third. I also want to make sure that the nail is shaped very nicely so that it goes up from the cuticle area and to the highest apex point and then down towards the free edge in a nice curve. So that first bead I'm placing by the cuticle area. Don't know how I got a caviar bead in there but I did somehow so I just dug that out. She kind of messed up my application. How annoying because high speed monomer sets up very quickly so you don't have time to really faff about too much uh, so yeah adding another bead by that cuticle area to fix the mess that uh, that silly caviar bead caused me to make do swipe the sides try and keep your shape as best you can so that you've got less filing i'll add another bead underneath that first one and bring that down towards the free edge blend it into the previous bead and stroke and pat and get that nice and neat and as smooth as I can with my brush and I just needed a little bit more because there was a bit of a dip there always look at from the side you know turn turn the nail from all different angles and look at it all the way around if you're just looking from the bird's eye view you will not see any imperfections where you need more acrylic so yeah definitely look at the nails from all angles so again applying that bead by the cuticle area bringing it down and i want to make sure that i've got a good apex so i will add further beads where necessary because i want my apex in the back third of the nail that way it's got good strength to support support the length of the nails these are not overly long but for the for normal standards these are long so I want to make sure that they are nice and strong so I will pat the sides and stroke the sides and try and keep the shape as best I can same again on the index finger bring that bead down after I've patted it into the cuticle area and got it nice and neat bring that bead down the rest of the nail blend that in so that it's seamless and then I've added another bead because that bead came quite far down the nail so I didn't get to leave a lot of it in the apex area but with this bead I will so you see I only put the very front of that bead down this time and then another bead to the uh, free edge to bring that down towards the very tip to make sure that is all structured soundly 
because yeah, we want a we want a strong nail. So look at it from all angles, and then you'll be able to see, like I said, whether you've got any dips where you need to add any more acrylic or not. And again, swiping those sides, making sure. And then I take one last look at all of the nails together, and make sure that they are similar, because if they if one's really thick and the others aren't, then it's going to look weird. So do look at all of the nails together and make sure that you've got a cohesive set because they're a group they do need to look similar for your set to be nice and even and for it to look like a nice set because continuity that's how you you know don't want to look have odd fingers if that's what you know you know what I mean so on to the filing for my frosty filing freaks and as you saw I put in the corner of the screen where to skip the filing so you are most welcome to skip the filing if you are not a frosty filing freak but for the ones that are here we are so in on this occasion I am filing the free edge and side walls first of all getting them nice and straight and neat and I'm brush uh, brushing <laughs> I'm filing one side then the other side and I'm trying to get it nice and even on both sides so that I don't have a wonky nail and once I'm happy with that then I will use my e-file I'm just using a diamond bit to go around the cuticle area then if you don't apply the acrylic too thick by the cuticle area you won't have much acrylic to then blend um, you do want to seal around that cuticle area so I'm just using a diamond bit I didn't need anything harsher than that kind of grit to just blend in because we want it we want it to be seamless we want it to be flush to the nail so there's no lip so because I the way I'd applied it I didn't need anything harsher than a diamond bit so that's what I used and now I'm just going to finish file with my sanding band you can do this with a hand file as well there's not really a great deal for me to debulk as such so at this point I didn't bother going in with a carbide bit or anything I didn't feel it was necessary so I just used my sanding band to refine the shape of the nails like I said you can do this with your hand file as well my application wasn't completely on point but it wasn't horrendous where I felt I needed to debulk or anything and that way I can just get away with using the sanding band but if you have a bit more work to do then you will need to use a carbide or ceramic bit to you know help you refine the shape of the nails but yeah I'm just going to use my sanding band to do the work for me save my wrists from using my hand file too much so I'm contouring this the each nail as I go so you see I'm blending where I've filed the sides I'm blending that in towards the center of the nail so that it's a nice curve and it goes up and over I don't want any harsh lines where I filed with the hand file I want it all nice and curved and blended in see just blending that in on that side and then down the body of the nail and just yeah contouring a lovely shaped nail and you'll see I brush my thumb over it as well because you can feel lumps and bumps that way too so also always always look at the nail from all different angles I cannot stress that enough I pretty much say it in every video that I've got filing in but you really I can't drum it into you guys enough look at those nails from every single angle you possibly can so that you are getting a really nice even nail well structured nail so I'm just going to use the buffing file didn't need to use you know a proper hand file like I said it wasn't yeah it wasn't a, a big deal so I'm just going to use the buffing file to just refine that shape just a little bit more not too much as you can see but just enough it also helps get the frills out from underneath you know when you get those little frills underneath the nail I can't stand them I have to get rid of them so the buffing file is very good for getting those little frills out from underneath the nail so yeah buff over the entire surface remove the dust and now we can go on with the design so I'm using these foils 
it's the white one that's got a sort of marble pattern on it use the SBD London foil gel I'm doing a full nail of this foil so I'm going to apply the foil gel you don't want to apply it thick or anything like that just a nice even thin layer of the foil gel is enough cure that for 60 seconds in a LED sun UV lamp of course I've got the SBD London lamp and then as soon as it comes out of the lamp you apply it to the nail now if you wanted this to be a more brighter white I recommend putting a either white acrylic underneath it or a white gel polish underneath it this because I that I didn't need it to be a bright white I was happy to have the pink underneath it but you can see it looks more pink than it does white it looks like a pale pink but because the other nails are that purple color that's why I didn't need it to be the bright white but if you wanted it to be that bright white marble with the, like the grey flecks in it then definitely use a white base underneath it and that way you'll get that kind of bright you know pure white color anyway so I've applied that, rubbed that on with my, it's just a cuticle tool, you can use silicone tools, you can use a dry wipe and your fingers, whatever you like to rub the foil on and get it to apply. Remove the backing and you know, ta-da, there's your design. And then I'm applying the gel polish. With gel polish you want to keep your layers as thin as you possibly can to avoid bulking out the nail. If you've watched the first video that I did on with using the Sugar, Pe Sugar Pebble collection, you'll see that I did manage to bulk out the nails because I just I put them on the layers on way too thick. I should have known better. I wasn't paying attention and I did lose my shape a fair amount so if you pay attention and do better than I did <laughs> you won't lose your shape so much so thin layer get that nice and even neat around the cuticle area if you make any messes use a small brush with some rubbing alcohol clean it up and then you can cure in the lamp once that's cured for 60 seconds then I can apply my second layer and as you can see it is completely opaque on that second coat so again, round that cuticle area nice and neatly, bring the rest of the colour down the rest of the nail. When you, when I first apply the brush to the nail, you'll see that I apply it very sparingly by the cuticle area so that I'm not flooding it and then I bring down. It's best to apply it right in the middle of the nail first as you, you know, make touch down with the very first time you put the brush down. You know, touch down in the middle of the nail, then go towards the cuticle area, then you're less likely to flood the cuticle. Um, but if you've not got too much in your brush, then you can go to the cuticle area first of all. But yeah, just be aware that to avoid flooding the cuticle, it's best to get some of it off in the middle of the nail first, then it's it's less likely to happen so now I've cured that layer I'm going to pump out some of the gel paints which are lovely lovely stuff to work with they go on they glide on really smoothly so using the black first we're going to do the abstract design I'm going to do a rectangle or a square mm, I suppose it's more of a rectangle just a block of black and I'm going to use my, it's just a gel brush that I'm using to get the general shape going. And then I will use a very fine detailer brush to then do the, to outline it more neatly, we'll say. And because the this polish has these little bits of black, I don't even know what it is, glitter type substance in it it's quite lumpy it can be a little bit tricky to get very sharp lines because of that but just just do the best you can which is all I'm going to do so just making sure those corners are nice and that the shape is fairly even 
okay just really careful around those cuticles uh, not cuticles those corners why am i keep saying cuticles anyway just be really careful around those corners and trying to straighten out those lines as best i can but like i said because it's a bumpy surface it's not that easy and then along that marble nail just to make it a bit more obvious i'm going to and to tie in the black from the middle finger I'm going to just do some random lines as in veins of the marble type of thing not too thick or anything like that but I do want to tie in the color of the um, design on the middle finger so then I've moved on to the index finger and I was going to do another design and then I decided that no actually not it would be too busy and I wanted this set to be less busy than what I normally do. So I wiped that off and then continued on with my design on the middle finger. So I'm going to do a box with the white job uh, paint this time. Same process. First go in with the gel brush and then use the detailer to just sharpen up the edges. I've not flash cured yet. I'm... I'm yeah being what's the word <clears throat> being brave <laughs> i didn't smudge it and i'm really sorry i thought i was recording when i did that rectangle outline and i wasn't i'm really sorry that I, I forgot to press record on that but as you can see all i did was do an outline of a rectangle going through the black and then in between the black and the white just it's, it's an abstract design so go with the flow and then i'm adding some of the silver in amongst the veins of the marble nail to again bring in the design that i'm doing on this nail so this design i'm doing now is just a very simple leaf type pattern it's very easy to do you know me i can't draw i've got really shaky hands so if i can do this leaf design pattern i know for sure you can and i'm all, i just don't do difficult designs because i just yeah i i can't <laughs> just simple as that i can't but these are very simple to do it's like just a little teardrop shape and you just wiggle your brush to get it wider and then you can use the point of your brush to bring the very tip of it to a point and yeah it's not a difficult shape to do at all give it a little stem connect it to the, the you know the branch and bob's your uncle you've got this leaf pattern and this silver is gorgeous it's really glittery and it just hits the light in such a way it's just stunning and i thought it would go nicely with the old abstract design so yeah initially i was going to do the leaf design on the index finger but you saw i changed my mind and wiped it off and put it over the boxes instead so yeah go with the flow if you don't like it as long as you've not cured it you can wipe it off and start again never be afraid to wipe it off if you're not happy don't just stick with it if you're not happy with it there's no point because you're just you know you're never going to be happy with it if you just leave it so if you're not happy wipe it off start again it's not a problem you've already cured the other layers no big deal so i will flash cure that to hold it in place and now it's time to top it off and keep it tough so just a relatively quick video for you this time so as we are at the end of the video very almost there is some video footage and photos at the end so i'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you ever so much to coming to my channel for coming to my channel and watching this video spending some of your most precious time with me i appreciate you thank you ever so much if you have not done so already please go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the frosty fam they are awesome i, I have the best subscribers ever um, if you have enjoyed this video or it's helped you in any way shape or form please go ahead and click that like button it really helps my channel out and if you are feeling up to it you are most welcome to leave me a comment i am more than happy to talk to you so that's all i have for this time peeps you take care now and i'll speak to you all again very very soon bye for now Say goodbye 
I can change the past Don't wanna complicate things Maybe if I asked Was any of it Make it, yeah. Our hard work's gonna be worth.